Yes, we are on Unit 5, Lesson 6, Back Clauses, and we are on English 3. We are on page 36. 36. We're going to do pages 36 to 40 in this lesson. Let's get started. Listen and repeat. To forget. To forget it means you don't remember. That's why I write things down on little pieces of paper all the time so I don't forget. And I also, my cell phone will ring and tell me when I've forgotten something. To steal, to steal, to take from someone else. Most people don't rob banks anymore, at least not physically. What they do is they steal information and money online. So to steal is to take from someone else that isn't yours. To worry, to worry, that means you're very nervous about something. To vomit, to vomit means you throw up. To leave, to leave, that means you go away. Excuses. I've heard many of these because I taught elementary when I first got into Korea. Some elementary school students gave these excuses for not submitting. Submit is to turn in, for not turning in, for not submitting their homework. Complete the sentences by adding the past tense form of the words in the box. Ruby said her dad forgot to do her homework. She is th said she worried about her teacher's heavy workload. A workload, that's a number of things you have to get done at your job. You can have a heavy workload or a light workload. Thomas said he left his homework on the kitchen table. Leave becomes left, L-E-F-T. Thomas said he left his homework on the kitchen table. Blake said his baby sister vomited all over his homework. Blake said his baby sister vomited all over his homework. Well, okay, but you still have to do your homework. Joel, uh, I would have done it again. Joel said he had too much homework so he gave up. Joel said he had too much homework, so he gave up. Ah, Joel needs to learn some persistence. He needs to keep at it until he's done. By the way, when you're overwhelmed, take five minutes, play a video game, a short one, and come back and do it again. The, or um, do something that raises your dopamine level by completing a little task. That will help you complete it. Teresa said someone stole her backpack. Teresa said someone stole her backpack. Okay, one more time. Ruby said her dad forgot to do her homework. <laughs> her dad is not supposed to be doing her homework. Ruby is supposed to be doing her homework. She said she worried about her teacher's heavy workload. Thomas said he left his homework on the kitchen table. Blake said his baby sister vomited all over his homework. Joel said he had too much homework, so he gave up. Teresa said that someone stole her backpack. There we go. Those are past tense. The weird, the weird ones. Look at the weird ones. Forget becomes forgot. Worry with a Y it becomes an IED. Let, leave becomes left, L-E-F-T. Ha have becomes had. Steal becomes stole, S-T-O-L-E. So look after your weird words. Okay, page 36. To quit, that means to stop doing something. You're going to die if you smoke, so you should quit smoking. To mention, it means you say something about a specific thing. You mention something to someone. You're talking about something. To rely, means you count on something or someone. The stormtroopers are counting on their friend to, to bike them, uh, to use their bike to get them to work. Okay. To replace, to replace, to substitute. This person is replacing a tire. He is a flat tire. Okay, dialogue. Module 3, 5. Denise knows we're all relying on her. Remember to rely on means you, you also to count on. That means you uh, believe someone is going to uh, complete their work so you can complete yours. Okay. Meg and Lisa are talking. Listen to the dialogue, then repeat it. 
so listening first. Have you talked to Denise lately? She told me she was quitting the basketball team. Why did she say that? She didn't come to practice yesterday, so I was worried there was a problem. She told me when I called her in the evening. Did she give a reason? A reason is why you do something, a reason. No, but the fact that she even mentioned it means something serious is happening. You're right. Denise says we are all relying on her. I can't imagine who will replace her if she quits. Can't imagine means you can't think of something. Replace it means, again, you get something new to replace something old. So you have to get a new basketball team member if she quits. The problem is we just don't know what's going on yet. Let's give her a call and find out. Okay, listen one more time. Have you talked to Denise lately? She told me she was quitting the basketball team. Why did she say that? She didn't come to practice yesterday, so I was worried there was a problem. She told me when I called her in the evening. Did she give a reason? No, but the fact she even mentioned it means something serious is happening. You're right. Denise knows we're all relying on her. I can't imagine he will replace her if she quits. The problem is we just don't know what's going on yet. Let's give her a call and find out. Okay, listen and repeat. Have you talked to Denise lately? She told me she was quitting the basketball team. When did she say that? She didn't come to practice yesterday, so I was worried there was a problem. She told me when I called her in the evening. Did she give a reason? No, but the fact she even mentioned it means something serious is happening. You're right. Denise knows we're all relying on her. I can't imagine who will replace her if she quits. The problem is, we just don't know what's going on yet. Let's give her a call and find out. Meaning chunk. Nominal clauses. Okay, we're talking about that. We usually... Don't say the word that or write it anymore. It's implied. That, is, she told me that, is you're saying she told me and then you're, you're going to say exactly what, what, she, what she said. Denise knows and what does she know? You're answering that question. The problem is, what's the problem? Great. We're going to tell you. That's at the end of the sentence. Okay. So uh, she told me that she was quitting the basketball team. Denise knows that we are all relying on her. The problem is that we just don't know what's going on yet. I was worried that there was a problem. I can't imagine who will replace her if she quits. The fact that she even mentioned it means that something serious is happening. Again, you don't have to say the that or, or write it. The point is... The person is giving information about what they were told, what they know, what the problem is, what they're worried about, or what they imagine, or what the fact is. That and who cause. When talking, you need to give information. I was talking to a guy. Which guy? It could be any guy. Half the population is male. Who are you talking about? I was talking to a guy that is in my English class. I was talking to a guy who is in my English class. So that there's our, our that. That's our meaning chunk. I am sure. About what? I'm sure that he is going to be late. I am not sure. About what? I am not sure who will lead the team. Unbelievable. You can't believe it. It's very shocking. Tournament. You play games and to find out who's the best one. 
um, people keep uh, keep playing each other and the people that lose quit until only the winners are, are against each other at the end. Direction. That's your way to go. The person is holding a compass and the compass tells north uh, on the planet. By mistake. You didn't mean to do it. She dropped her ice cream. She did it by mistake. Unrealistic. Probably not possible. This is a planet where it, there's a sister planet. There's another planet next to it. We actually have a sister planet. It's called the moon, but it doesn't have an atmosphere. Uh, so unrealistic is probably not possible. To survive. To live. Usually uh, through something dangerous. To require or a requirement. You must have or do something. Right now the requirement is to wear a mask whenever you are outside. Assumption. A belief. It may or not be true. If your assumption is that 2 plus 2 equals 5, you are making a wrong assumption. Assumptions can be wrong or right. They can be true or false, correct or incorrect. Innocent. You didn't do it. Babies are usually innocent. They didn't do anything yet. Unclear. Hard to see or know. There's fog here, so the farmhouse is unclear. Emergency. A big or immediate problem. This person is having an emergency, and so they're checking his heart rate. Trust. To believe or trust in someone or something. Best friends trust each other. Damage. Something or someone is hurt. This window was damaged. Guests. People who are paying for a service. A hotel, a restaurant. Those are guests of the hotel, guests of the restaurant. They're also known as customers. Subject. Okay, this is the that cause. That can be a subject. That she is still alive is unbelievable. It's the same as is unbelievable she is still alive. The fact that he will win the tournament is certain. It is certain that he will win the tournament. It can be the object of a verb. She knew that she was going to be late. I said that we were walking in the wrong direction. I believe that he took my keys by mistake. Object of a preposition. The story is unrealistic in that the hero survives. You don't know anything about him except that he lives in Florida. It's a good plan that, uh, that but that it requires too much effort. Okay. Unrealistic in the hero that the hero survives. Unrealistic means it doesn't seem to be true. Uh, know anything about him except, so you only know one thing, he lives in Florida. It's a good plan, but that's the problem with the plan. Too much effort, it's too hard to do it. Such a compliment. The assumption is that everything will get better. The main reason is that we have not tried hard enough. I'm sure that he is innocent. Innocent means not guilty. He didn't do the crime. I'm surprised that she offered him a job. They are angry that you did not call them. Okay, how the book, uh, we were looking at WH interrogative clause. Who, what, when, where, why, how, whether. Okay, how the book will sell is unclear. It is unclear how the book will sell. Whether he can fix the problem is questionable. It means you don't know. It's questionable whether he can fix the problem. Object of the verb. I can't imagine who did such a terrible thing. I want it now. You can use if or whether. Either one is okay. I wonder if they will have snacks at the meeting. He asked me whether I was going to go with him. You can also say whether or not. Most people just say whether. Object of a preposition. I'm curious about who will raise the first question. You should plan for what to do in case of emergency. Subject complement. The problem is who will lead the team. One issue is where each guest should each guest should sit. It should be each guest, not each guest. Okay. You can say each of the guests. That's fine too. Adjective complement. I'm not sure whether we can trust them. I wasn't sure who caused the damage. If or whether you can use either one, 
who or what you can say that. Because who might be a person that caused the damage, what, it might be a storm or a falling something that caused the damage. Vocabulary, page 37. Agenda, agenda, things you're going to do during a meeting. Proposal, proposal. This is a written description of what you will do for a boss or a client, usually in exchange for money. These men are going to work on a project together. Take turns asking and answering questions about their phone conversations. Shift the verbs into the past tense, past tense. What did Michael say? He said that he was excited to start. Listen and repeat. What did Michael say? He said that he was excited to start. What did Dave say? He said that he was worried about the timing. What did Sam say? Sam said he wanted to meet the team. What did Alex say? Alex said he hoped to impress the clients. What did Barry say? Barry said that he would set an agenda. What did Lucas say? Lucas said that he was going to write a proposal. Okay, one more time. Listen and repeat. What did Michael say? He said that he was excited to start. What did Dave say? Dave said he was worried about the timing. What did Sam say? Sam said he wanted to meet the team. What did Alex say? Alex said he hoped to impress the clients. What did Barry say? Barry said he will set an agenda. What did Lucas say? He said he was going to write a proposal. Vocabulary. Page 38. Shuttlecock. Shuttlecock. That's the plastic object in badminton. Rest period. Rest period. That's taking a break. It's break time. Badminton rules. Okay, these are the rules about badminton. What rule, sorry, what is the rule about the court? The rule is that the court has to be indoors. Okay, the, um, just listen right now. Don't repeat yet. The court is where the badminton game is played, and it's indoors. This is an inside game. The, uh, what is the rule about the players? There must be two or four players. What is the rule about the start? The start is the beginning of the game. The rule is that a coin toss determines who will start. The coin toss is heads or tails, top or bottom. And they flip a coin, and, who, and the person calls it. They say, I want heads, I want tails. And whoever called it gets to play first. The serve. What is the rule about the serve? The players have to serve diagonally. What is the rule about the scoring? The shuttlecock must land in the opponent's court. The opponent is the person you're playing against. What is the rule about the net? The, the rule is that the players cannot touch the net. What is the rule about the rest periods? The rule is that there are two rest periods between games. What is the rule about fouls? A foul is when the shuttlecock goes outside of the court. The rule is that the referee may penalize players. P, uh, uh, a penalty is when you get less points or you have to move somewhere else on, uh, or, or something like that during a game. Um, so, or, or maybe the other side can play first. You lose control of the shuttlecock. Okay, listen and repeat. What is the rule about the court? The rule is the court has to be indoors. What is the rule about the players? There must be two to four players. What is the rule about the start? The rule is that a coin toss determines who will start. What is the rule about the serve? The rule is that the players have to serve diagonally. What is the rule about scoring? 
The rule is that the shuttlecock must land in the opponent's court. What is the rule about the net? The rule is that the players cannot touch the net. What is the rule about rest periods? The rule is that there are two rest periods between games. What is the rule about fouls? The rule is that the referee may penalize players. Un means not. Unbreakable means it will not break. Uh, these are uh, all mean you don't know whether that will happen. Doubtful, questionable, unpredictable, uncertain, debatable. Repeat after me. Doubtful, questionable, unpredictable, uncertain, debatable. Talk about the expected outcome of these situations. Listen and repeat. Will it break? Whether it will break is unclear. Will he score? Whether he will score is doubtful. Will she walk again? Whether she will walk again is questionable. Will it rain? Whether it will rain is unpredictable. Will they finish in time? Whether they will finish in time is uncertain. Will she win? Whether she will win is debatable. Larry, page 39. Housewarming party. Housewarming party. This is a party to celebrate moving into a new apartment or a house. Okay. So practice. These are reported statements. You're, 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 Reed and April invited their friends to a housewarming party. They're disappointed because many friends cannot come to the party. Read their friends' excuses. An excuse is a reason why you cannot do something or why you didn't do something. Then write them as reported statements. You're writing down what someone said. Lester, I have to work that evening. Lester said he had to work that evening. Martin and Liza, our children are feeling sick. Martin and Liza said that our children are feeling sick. Janet. Janet said that I have to finish an important presentation. Sorry, Janet said that she has to finish an important presentation. William. I am picking up a friend at the airport. William said that he is picking up a friend at the airport. Kara and Philip. We need to attend a wedding. Kara and Philip said that they need to attend a wedding. Nicole, I don't want to see someone at the party. Nicole said that she doesn't want to see Sung Hwan at the party. Hmm. Maybe she's having a fight with him. Sung Hwan, I'm going to be out of town on the weekend. <laughs> Nicole didn't have to worry. He's going to be out of town. Sung Hwan said that he is going to be out of town on the weekend. Okay. Martin and Louisa said they're Liza. Do that again. Martin and Liza said that their children were feeling sick. Janet said that she has to finish an important presentation. William said that he has to pick up a friend at the airport. Cam and Philip said that they need to attend a wedding. Nicole said she didn't want to see Sung Kwan at the party. Sung Kwan said he was going to be out of town on the weekend. Okay, write down the... Uh, the reported statements. Write down this reported statements. Uh, this is the bottom of page 39. This is the end of this lesson. At our next lesson, we're going to start with speaking for, and we're going to go ahead and finish off this chapter. Uh, so go back and, and study your, um, uh, your grammar focus, and be sure you understand all of the, the vocabulary. Go back through the chapter. If there's something you don't understand, look it up on Papago or another electronic dictionary. Write the Korean word so that you know that particular word.
vocabulary is important, you might see a word on a test you don't understand. Have a wonderful day. I will see you when we finish the rest of the chapter. Have a great day.